Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey. Hello. I made it. She made it to the mountain. I did. We're sitting in the new pergola. I know. So nice. Weather is perfection. It's so nice today. It is nice. It it's is like in nice. the low 70s. Yep. Yeah. Super, super nice. Finally. I was born in the late 70s. You were, I know. I noticed yep. that. Yep. Yeah. Young. I'm young. Okay. <laughs> Define young in your book. I'm young. Younger. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't go as far as saying young. You look young. I do not feel young. <laughs> <coughs> oh no, back pain kills me. Kills yeah. me, kills me. me By too. the way, I forgot to mention the other day I had the opportunity to see the northern lights. Not the southern ones, the northern ones. No, the northern. Hold on. We're going to move them closer just in case they can't hear us. Oh, yeah. It's kind of crooked now. Woo! <laughs> Hold on. I'm new. I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, You're just playing around. Just hanging out. Just hanging out. Yeah, so the, it was Thursday night for the Northern Lights. I was with my friends and somebody received a message saying that they were the Northern Lights. And we we're at a friend's house which lives outside the city limits. And we were able to go outside, and you could not see it with your naked eye. Um, you could only see them through your camera. And beautiful, let me tell you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wonder where that saying came from. What? Naked, naked eye. eye. I don't know. I'm just repeating what I hear. Sometimes I don't know what it really means, and I just repeat things, and that gets me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever dress your eyes? Yes, I do. Yeah, I never yeah. dress mine. I guess I guess I have naked eyes. I, I dress them with mascara. <laughs> <laughs> I got naked eyes up in here. Yeah, I don't know. Naked eye. I guess with your eyes. Yeah. Some sayings <sighs> that you just cannot explain. You just repeat them. Yep, yep. So. Got my taxes done. Yeah. Big stress off the shoulders. Tomorrow is the deadline, right? Yep. The 15th. And I finished them last night, so two days early. I know. That's two days earlier than I did last year. Very good. <laughs> I was down to the... Whew, it was close last year. Very, very close. good. So, yeah, I got that. Domino's over here sleeping. Yoga's sleeping inside the tiny house. I've been working, so I took a little break to say hi to everyone. I've been working since I woke up this morning. Literally woke up and... Started working. Yeah. And then I just set the live up. You did. Yeah. yeah. Live set up. So we're going live tonight. We're going live. Probably from right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a nice area. I love it here. Yeah. It's so big. It's about to get a lot more beautiful. Oh, yeah. Got more to come. Big oh. thing was getting the pergola up. Mm -hmm. So it's up now. Yeah. So you can open and close. Yeah. That's super nice and fancy. It's getting fancy here. Fancy on the mountain. Very different from a few years back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to have an outside toilet right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you did. So I can see the mountain view in the winter while I was freezing my what's happening so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And everything has changed. A little bit. Uh, Levi will be here in seven days. That's exciting. Very, very exciting. Yeah, Levi will actually be here for next week's live. Yeah. I believe. I think believe it's Monday he gets in, right? Is that mm -hmm. what I said? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the 21st. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, he'll be on next week's live. Yeah. So, get beautiful margarita this week. A little handsome Levi next week. There you go. Are you lucky? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all don't welcome. have to just look at me. <laughs> I need a haircut. I'm looking. 
a little rough right now. <laughs> yeah. Some of you mentioned, I was reading some of the comments from um, our last um, video when we, you and I had dinner on Saturday. Oh, yeah. And that uh, I was scared for him to jump, or how do you call that? Uh, uh, hang glass. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not scared for him to do it. I mean, he can do it. I was just uh, super cool, like thinking in my mind. And sometimes when I'm thinking and trying to say something, I just look and I have this look. But no. Oh, you're talking about the comment where you look yeah, at me crazy. When yeah, I said that, I got the like I didn't now. want you to go and do it. Oh, I want him to go do it if he wants to. I definitely want to. Yeah, I'll be there supporting him. I won't do it. I don't like that. Yeah. I would rather climb. I yep. like rock climbing. That's what I like. Um, but yeah, not jumping. Mm -mm. I can zip line, but I'd, not jumping. I'd rather jump off than rock climb. No. Uh uh. I don't know. How I'd cool just... will it be though if you climbed all the way up the rock and then jumped off of it? Oh, I wouldn't jump. That would be. I cool. will stay there. I will climb down. <laughs> not jumping. I, I'm just now getting the idea of. Um, uh, what is it called? <laughs> Skydiving. 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 Yeah, we're yeah. doing that. Yeah. Um, I have. She done agreed. Yeah, but I didn't say when. <laughs> she agreed. She agreed. I didn't say when. Maybe next year. Maybe. I don't know. Anthony won't jump off either. He won't. No, he said no, not for me. No, no. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Sometimes I cannot think it, think it. I cannot think too much about it and just, you know, go do it. You just gotta go for it. Yeah. So Send I have a it. friend that does that all the time there in Clarksville because they, they have that in Clarksville. And every time she's like, when are you going to come jump with me? When are you come and jump with me? And she's been saying the same thing for the last three, four years. I'm like, one day, one day. So one day. I've got a YouTube video of me jumping. I don't know. It's just scary. It's great. It's. I mean, I don't. I haven't heard a lot of accidents happen. So. Anytime you have like something like that, I mean, accidents happen. Well, yeah. I, I mean, you're exposed. I mean, from the moment you yeah. drive out of your house, you're exposed. Yeah. So. <sighs> Why keep yawning? Because it feels so nice. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I could take a nap. I wish I can work from outside. Sometimes just that fresh air keeps me awake instead of just it's looking at the... It's putting me to sleep. I know. I'm over got tears in my eyes, yawning. He's just happy that I'm here, guys. He blames it on the wind. And, I am. I am uh, pretty happy that my woman's uh, he's here. He's just like <sighs> tears of happiness. <laughs> happy as a puppy with two pooters. <laughs> <laughs> That's happy, ain't it, Domino? <laughs> so I made a new recipe. He's not a fan. It's how do you call that? I mean, I call it tuna salad, but I guess it's not really. It's not your typical tuna no, salad. It's got apples in it, cilantro. What is it? Lime. Uh, yeah. Put some lime, lime. cilantro. Um, um. The texture's just the a little apple. Low. The apple was just too much. It's like the apple had like this sweet, like crazy texture. Well, it's and supposed then the tuna to be. Fish was like completely it's supposed different. to be like a sour apple. I don't know. I personally like the yellow apple more, like between green and yellow. That's the one that I like. But it's really, really hard to find at Walmart there where I live. It's either the granny, which is the green one, right? Is that what you call them? Granny? I don't know. I don't know. The green one. And then there was another one between yellow and red, and that's the one I got. And then they have all kinds of apples. So um, maybe, I don't know, I liked it, or maybe I was really hungry. No, but I liked it. It was different. I liked it. I put it in a tostada, and it was good. I ate it, and I added some tapatioca. Yeah. And uh, it was just different. Wasn't my favorite. It wasn't my it favorite, wasn't horrible. but I, I can eat it. It wasn't horrible, but it was not. It was nothing that I would ever make yeah. again. Personally. I would. Yeah. 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 I like it. I like the mix. There's this chicken salad too recipe that calls for 
apple and almonds and what else i don't know it's so delicious oh grapes i think like green grapes or something i don't know it's so delicious too it might be too that i'm not a huge fan of apples to begin with oh i am i'm, I'm not a big apple person never have been you haven't i don't hate them it's no. just it's like it's not my go-to fruit you know I, yeah. i'd rather i would say plum is one of my favorite fruits that and kiwis i like kiwis uh, oranges. I'm not a huge fan of oranges. Just You're I, not. I grew up in the Sunshine State. I was around oranges and ate a million oranges. So. Uh, okay, so you did eat them. It's yeah, just... I've eaten a bunch of them, but that's why they're not like my go-to because I've eaten so many. I like oranges. I'm just too lazy to peel them. I like orange <laughs> juice. <laughs> well, I saw. I mean, it's not that I'm lazy. It's just like you get like when you peel them. Sometimes you get all you know the hands so juicy and sticky. But I like oranges with tahin. Mm, tahin. So good. I like apples. I got some tahin in there. Uh, plums, they're okay. I mean, they're not my favorite. I can, and I think I like it's the texture. Cold. I like plums cold. I think it's the texture. Um, they're not my favorite. That will be like kind of the last one. The kiwi, definitely not. Mm -mm. The kiwi texture. is a pain in the butt just because it's so much work to get it. And yeah. Then, and then there's really not much to it. Yeah. Watermelon I like. I like watermelon. Um, It's still not my go-to though because I used to load watermelons when I was younger. So oh, yeah. I've eaten yeah, a million right. watermelons too. Throwing them down mm -hmm. in the field, eating the heart out of them. They keep on throwing. Creep truck, creep. Yeah. <laughs> Watermelon. Um, I like cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. I like cantaloupe too. Pineapple. I like pineapple. I just can't eat like too much of it because yes. it makes my tongue. Well, the acid yeah, just kills it, you. It, it like yeah. messes up my tongue. My taste yeah. buds would be screwed up for like oh, yeah, mine too. two days after eating pineapple. Yeah. But I love pineapple upside down yeah. cake. Oh. I've had it not too many times, but I had it. It's fine. It's all about. You know what I like? Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Why are we talking about food? I don't know. I think I'm hungry. hungry. Well, see, I just ate that tuna he, stuff, and I'm talking about it. He just tells me, like, before he was like, yeah, I've become quite a baker, and, oh, I've done this, and I've done that. I haven't tried anything that he said. No. Maybe he was just trying to impress me, because I haven't tried it. So, so she said, it don't impress me much. <laughs> Ain't that a song? Oh, I don't know if it's a song or not. I haven't I haven't baked nothing in a while, honestly. Yeah. You're just <laughs> you're just too busy with me. Yep. Not doing anything. Well, I else. added a whole a whole nother thing to my life. You know, yeah. my, my life was pretty busy, and then you come swooping in. Oh, I did. You come swooping in. Please, and so I I made time for what's important. Oh, so I was like. Hey, I'm important. No, I said you're important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People over there honking and I guess stuff. we have visitors. We got some visitors over there making all kinds of noise on the mountain. Yeah. As soon as I see it. Hello! We're recording and keeping it real. Let them know what we're doing. Real life. You never, Real you, you never know what with them. They might be over here twerking and stuff. Yeah. And you get, you gotta make sure they know so they're not on camera twerking. <laughs> Are you twerking? I, I got something to say. Uh uh You had me doing dirty deeds for nothing. <laughs> Uh oh, here we go. He might twerk. He might twerk. The dirtiest of deeds. Listen. <laughs> the dirtiest of deeds. David had me do something that was downright dirty. Huh? What? For, for nothing. What? My laundry? <laughs> well, no, that that was <coughs> for nothing. However, <laughs> you, however, we we well, that was a big. We took up uh, like. 11 laun uh, washers today yeah. plus the big one for your bedding huh? oh um, yeah yeah um, no so he tells me hey mike 
check the laundry because I'm sure there's some cash in this one. So I, I wanted to give Lissa a break, right? I was like, listen, yeah. I'll go through all of David's dirty clothes. That way you don't have to no, I didn't, handle all I just all said be the, on the lookout. You know? I, I didn't say go look. So I personally <laughs> went through every piece of David's dirty there's laundry no money. for not one nickel. There's not no money? one nickel. Well, that's a dis disappointing. You know Because that means I'm missing money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's be clear because I'm going to hear it. <laughs> I did not tell him to go through my laundry. I said, just be on the lookout for it because I'm missing some cash. You're missing cash? Yes, I'm missing some cash. Wow. It wasn't in the laundry. Yeah. Where is the cash? It got me. I don't know. We need to find it. Though. It's not a ton of it, but it's, it's about 40-something bucks. Yeah. Well, it's a good laundry service right there. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mentioned you know be on the lookout for cash. You know, most time there'd be a dollar or something here or there, and I just yeah. try to take it. But uh, yeah, find their keepers. Yeah, I pay them to do my laundry when they do theirs, guys. So they're not just doing it for free. Yeah, I, I, I do pay. I actually pay Lissa. It gives Lissa a little bit of extra spending money That's for things awesome. that she likes to do, and yes. um, they're already at the laundry mat anyway. So it's a pretty good deal mm -hmm. that we got worked out. I give a little jingle and I get yeah. my laundry cleaned and delivered to the door, as y'all see. So it works out. Yeah, very, very good. And Margarita says, great, because now she don't have to do my laundry. <laughs> yeah. No. But she would. Uh, she has in the past yeah. before. Yeah. Actually, so, and I actually a lot. did it, well, yeah, a, a lot, lot. last yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. A lot. This but this year. time, after the, the Eureka Springs. Yeah, I yeah. couldn't fit all of the stuff on the bike on the way back. Yeah. So. Oh, we're coming back. Are you twerking you this time? Do you find the cash? Are you twerking this time? I don't know how to pop it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess that she's here. I won't be on the live. No, no. That's Margarita this stuff. <laughs> and next time is Levi. So, yeah. you got a two-week break. I guess I know what I'm you, not you, needed. You can come up and hang out with us. You know, I would, but there's mud in the future. Oh, and... Man. After today's trip to Fort Smith, I bought some sanding sponges. <laughs> okay. And some sandpaper and some different things. We're going to be mudded up and sanded up and ready for a second coat by the end of the night. Ooh. I'm not a big fan of the sand sponges, but they do help in some in the corners and stuff. Right. Some, some mm. types. I was told because they I got the... They just don't last too long. I was told because I got the low the low dust mud that the sand sponge would be extra friendly to me. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I'm no professional by no means. And Just and oh, and on Dreaming with Drifters today, while I was in Home Depot, I actually caught a professional drywall guy, uh, walked up on him from behind while he was uh while Lisa was looking for a mixer. I got a new mixer thing. Mm -hmm. And uh he didn't want to be on camera, but he did confirm that the sponge is indeed better than sandpaper. And, and that was from the professional. Well, good. So good. we'll check it out. Yeah, You'll I bought it out. all those. Is it a big sponge? Now it's like now. Did he mean like a sanding sponge, or did he mean like a big yellow sponge and just wet it and dampen and wipe it? It was a sanding sponge, I'm sure. Mm. Maybe I should have asked more questions. <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah. What did you get? The big old sponge? No, I just got a couple of uh, like a, I think I got like a three pack or something. Oh, the sanding of one? the sanding things, and then I got um, I don't remember what grit it was, but then I got some uh, you know, just some regular open you know, open yeah. mesh sandpaper, and a, a hand sander and stuff like that. I know that I got a million seams to tape and sand, and it's gonna. However, somewhere in the shed, there's a sander on a pole. I might grab your pole and that. I think I have your sander. Um, yeah. I, I know a lot of people feel like that it's cheaper to actually just forget about it and just get a whole other sheet of drywall and put it up instead. How? But it's not because a bucket of mud is around the same price as a sheet of drywall. So where I could save and just put one big sheet of drywall up, I'm I'm only losing time, and not I'm not losing money because a whole bucket of mud is the price of one board. So I'm not losing nothing but time, but am I really losing time if I'm gaining content? <laughs> huh? You like that? Huh? You like that? <laughs> this, this keeping it real is went all over the place. We was just talking about kiwis and apples and stuff. I got a game now of we're twerking. And we done talked about dirty laundry, searching through laundry, twerking. 
and now drywall. Back. <laughs> Crazy guys, but she's got to get back to work. I got to get back to work. Domino's got to get back to sleep. Mike and them's got to go down there and play with Sponge Sanders and stuff. But I love every single one of y'all. Hopefully y'all had a good day. Do something nice for somebody today, guys. Take another step closer to your goal. And what? I'll be seeing you later. Yep, on the live. Say bye, Domino. Say bye. <laughs> bye, guys.